Rachel, did you get a script for the show? No, but I mean, honestly, do we even need one? This is like week four, episode four for us. We're kind of the stars, so I don't yeah. think we need them anyway. That's true, that's true. I wonder if somebody like, maybe they're just deciding to sit out to not write a script this week, because. You know we're live, right? Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Houston Sports Show. Here are your hosts, Lauren Leal and Rachel Von Oranje. The show doesn't start till I say it starts. Hey, welcome in everybody to Houston Sports Show. I'm Lauren Leal, joined by Rachel Von Oranje and maybe. Jerome Solomon. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Uh, we're so excited to be here tonight, but uh, we got some quality time this week. The Yankees are in town, but the A's were in town earlier. We got to see it live all together, hanging out at the Astros game. That was a good time. I had a lot of fun. Your mom is awesome. She was there, and uh, you'll see her later on in the show. So, you know, <laughs> a little. And it turned out to be a great game, too. I mean, it was the Astros yeah. fell way behind, had a big comeback, the biggest comeback of the season. Jordan Alvarez with a couple of home runs, so it was an mm -hmm. exciting game. It's, it's a good time out of Minute Maid Park when, when it's an interesting game, anyway. Absolutely, yeah. I know Frommer Valdez got off to, uh, Jerome was saying, a slow start, and then they, they picked it right back up. It was a 9-6 to six it, win, I believe. And Lauren ate some fried food. I did. I did. Uh, there's not many options, as uh, you know, some may not know. I'm pescatarian, so that means I only eat fish, so I got some fried oh. shrimp. I That's just right. thought you were just enjoying fried shrimp. I didn't realize there was, like, strategy behind it. There's not much else I could choose. I, I ate some of the popcorn out of the bucket my mom had as well, you know. Um, but enough of that Astros outing. Let's get to. Uh, we're not going to talk about Rachel and the vodka and beer. We're just going to move on. Okay. Sorry. I, I'll bad. let her. I'll I, let I her. guess I wasn't supposed to bring that up. I'll let her defend herself there. No, no, not necessary. <laughs> I don't have a voice on this show. Uh, no, I. I'm just going to tell you this, Jerome. I got a little tipsy, and I should have ate some of your popcorn or shrimp or something. I had no food in my stomach, so. Totally would have given it to you. And it Rachel was, is was one of the cool people that'll step up to a bar and go, you have any Sprite Zero to go with this heavy shot of alcohol I'm taking? <laughs> Why are you judging me? <laughs> to put my judging. life on camera, Jerome. I'm just reporting. <laughs> I don't think the Sprite Zero is going to help at that point. Hey, let's move on. Yes, let's move the on. All -Star the All-Star Game is coming up on Tuesday night. Um, did you see Carlos Correa and Jose Altuve both said they will not play in the game for the Astros? They weren't voted in as starters by the fans, but the players and the league office voted them in as reserves. I, I don't have a problem with it, obviously. Uh, the Carlos Correa one, I think, really stands out because the guy says... His wife is pregnant with their first child. He hasn't had time with the Astros schedule. He wants to read to the belly. He wants to sing to the wife's belly. Right. Mm -hmm. Aww. Oh, that's yeah. so sweet. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I, I love said, it. Aww. <laughs> that wasn't sarcasm. It sounded like it was some serious sarcasm. There was going a little over shade there. in there, I All thought. Right? I, I did too. Okay, uh, look, when you two get pregnant, I'll sing to your bellies too. I'm okay with it. I can, <laughs> I can live without that. I'm never having children, so no. But you can sing to my that's belly good if you for want. For the that's children. Cool. <laughs> it's a little weird, but. Okay. Um, <laughs> Well, boy, that's right. You, you Carlos Correa is not here, <laughs> and my women just lose it. What's the, I mean, like, <laughs> you lost focus. We're, no, we're I think it's Carlos Correa in the All Star game. I think it's sweet that he's staying home with his wife Daniela because he said that she's due in November, and he hasn't been able to read or you know do any of those kind of things that you were mentioning, uh, Jerome. So they get that a little bit of quality time before the rest of the season, and then of course October ball. So now. Jose Altuve is staying back because of his left leg soreness, and he uh, thinks he wants those extra four days off before continuing the rest of the season. I think it's a smart move. It's time for Real or Fake. They're real oh. and they're spectacular. Here are Lauren and Rachel. Well, how about this one? Um, MLB, let's do that. We talked a little bit about it a second ago. Carlos Correa re-signs with the Houston Astros. Real or fake headline, Rach? 
It's fake. I was she about was right. To start there. If you she wanted was... that bad, Lauren, you just jump right on in there. Just don't <laughs> well, even let I... her stop you. She's pushing him That's out of what... town. Pushing him out of town. Well, no, I love Carlos Correa. I'm I'm a Correa fan, and and him and Danielle, his family, the, the coming baby, all that. Uh, I just see this headline as fake because he already didn't didn't accept the extension, the five year, the six year extension. I believe it was up to like 125 mil. He knows his worth, and he's gonna go get it. I mean, that's debatable what he's worth, to be honest with you, but you're, I guess you're worth as much as somebody's going to pay you, and somebody's definitely going to pay him. It was my understanding that if it didn't get done before the season started, it wasn't happening here in Houston. That was, that was the way that I understood it. So, no, I, it's fake, but I wish that the Puerto Rican Punisher would stay here in Houston. <laughs> stay. Please stay. We love you, Carlos. We do. <laughs> and you crack ribs from the masseuse. How about this one for a headline coming up soon to a newspaper near you? Space Jam remake voted best sports movie ever. <laughs> Lauren. Um, I can just say this already, fake. Because Space Jam did not need to be remade in the first place. It was such a great movie, so much nostalgia. I love Space Jam in general, plus it has my favorite athlete of all time the GOAT and Michael Jordan. So no, LeBron James didn't need to go make up another film. I'm happy that they brought the film back, but I don't, I don't think it needed to be a remake. I bet that if Lauren would have got cast for a role in that movie, it would have been the greatest sports movie of all time. But, you know, she's, being, she's having a get off her lawn moment. She, is she being a hater over there? Yeah, she's being a hater. We a love little you. I'm bit. Just with you. A little bit. But, uh, I mean, if, hey, if they want to throw me a role for something like that. You know, with the no. crew here, you're the only one that worships Space Jam. I've never even seen that stupid movie, so it can't you be. I don't are believe you are crazy if you have you. not seen that film. It's Lies. so good. That's fake. Jerome has seen Space it's Jam. It's a cartoon movie about basketball in the 90s. Woo. I, I, nothing I excites you I in general. I, it, yeah. This is not The Godfather, okay? Stop. I've never seen that. One of the most overrated <laughs> movies ever. Oh. The Space Jam is a generational movie. It it's reminds every millennial of their childhood. That is why Lauren, I think, is having her get off the lawn moment. Like, don't touch my nostalgia. Don't mess with it. It's, it's, it's a human thing to do. But this you're, is, this you're is always... what I deal with in working with millennials that... Did you Rachel, chose us. Did Rachel just say that Godfather is one of the most overrated movies of all? Yeah, and there's a lot of people that think I, that. As soon as we're done I've with today's shoot, Rachel. I'm about to say, I don't have a dog in this fight because I've never seen that film. I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh, okay. Make me an offer you can't refuse. Oh, wasn't okay. That, wasn't all right, they say, fine. Like, that, that's the way you want to do it? Okay. Isn't that where they say, like, say hello to my little friend or something that's like that? That's Tony Montana. That's the whole, that's, God, that's a different movie. That's... that's <laughs> I can't remember uh, what it's called. Uh, thanks for joining us for Real or Fake. <laughs> Stay right there. Get ready for some laughs when Barry Laminac takes the floor next. Then I'll turn the page to show a story of when passion meets reality. And later, game day OJ breaks down the bets on the Euro Cup final. All here on Houston Sports Show. More Houston Sports Show after these messages. See towering prehistoric beasts and their modern-day descendants only at the Houston Zoo. Tickets online at HoustonZoo.org. Confidence comes standard with a certified pre-owned Cadillac from Ron Carter Cadillac. Your only Houston area Cadillac to your door dealer. Get 2.9% APR for 72 months on Houston's largest certified pre-owned Cadillac inventory. With the assurance of a 172-point inspection, meticulous reconditioning by master Cadillac technicians, and a total 5-year limited warranty with unlimited miles. Shop smarter when you shop Ron Carter. Ron Carter Cadillac. See towering prehistoric beasts and their modern day descendants only at the Houston Zoo. Tickets online at HoustonZoo.org. Welcome back to the show. The jokes come fast and furious in the funniest three minutes on television. Here's BS with Barry. I'm Barry Laminac, and this isn't what happened in sports. Let's start in the NBA where the Suns have a two game to none lead over the Bucks in the NBA Finals. And 
Folks, the games really haven't even been that close. The Suns have been finishing the Bucks off so early, Chris Paul has still had time to go to bingo night. Video has surfaced of James Harden and rapper Lil Baby. I'm 47, I don't wanna have to say that. Lil Baby being stopped by French police after the cops smelled marijuana. Lil Baby was detained, Harden was released. So just like his career, everyone got blamed except Harden. <laughs> On a separate note, how much do you have to smoke for the French to think you stink? Oh, come on. The Sixers Ben Simmons, who is coming off of a disastrous free throw shooting performance in the playoffs, was seen making out on TV with Maya Jama. Not sure where the night went for him and Maya, but I'm guessing there was no easy score for Simmons. <laughs> and if the playoffs are any indication, she had to expect an early exit. From the world of the NFL, Chiefs running back Le'Veon Bell's sixth baby mama called him, quote, the worst human being on the planet for ghosting her after their baby was born. And if you count the Jets and the Chiefs, that makes it the eighth time Bell has pulled a disappearing act. <laughs> and since he's never held the kid, I assume they named it the Lombardi Trophy. In other sports news, Italy will play England in the Euro Cup Finals on Sunday. It'll be a classic matchup of hot pizza versus warm beer, pasta versus potatoes, teeth versus gums. The Tampa Bay Lightning won their second straight Stanley Cup this week and people in Florida are excited. Florida fans could be seen partying until the crack of 7 p.m. Just pushing their walkers down the streets throwing their dentures in the air. They're wild. <laughs> Joey Chestnut set a new world record last week by eating 76 hot dogs in 10 minutes, breaking his previous toilet. The owner of a Florida-based gym unveiled plans to give all 90 Miami football players on scholarship $500 a month to advertise his gym on social media, making this the first year he's actually been able to go public with it. And finally, the U.S. track and field team announced that even after Sha'Carri Richardson's 30-day marijuana suspension is up, they will not allow her to compete in the 400-meter relay race at the Olympics. In other words, Team USA will puff, puff, pass. I'm Barry Lavinak. That's not what happened in sports. Now it's time for The Real Deal with Lauren Leal. I love a warm, feel-good story, and I think most can relate on some level, especially when cheering for the underdog or someone who overcomes whatever it is they are facing to either win the game or just get back out on the field. Well, how about pursuing a passion you've always dreamt of, especially after committing to a job but still believing and wanting to reach other goals? Have you heard about Cameron Kinley, a recent graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy? While a midshipman, he was a standout cornerback and a two-year starter. Navy scholarships come with a mandatory military commission after graduation. Kinley was committed to his, but asked for a delay so he could first pursue an NFL career. That request was denied by then Acting Secretary of the Navy, Thomas Harker. Well, luckily for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, this week an extra cornerback was added to the training camp roster as Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin reversed the previous decision. That's right, Kinley, an undrafted free agent, gets to pause his military responsibilities to take the field at Buccaneers training camp. Dreams really do come true. Well, that is if he makes the 53-man roster. But wait. If you sign an agreement and commit to a contract, aren't you supposed to follow through? No turning back, especially in the military, right? Calm down, people. Don't get too angered by someone just trying to follow their dreams. Once Kinley completes his playing time in the NFL, he'll be welcomed back inside the ranks as a naval officer. The best of both worlds. Go make the Navy proud, Cameron. And that's the real deal. All right, guys, coming up next, I got you covered this weekend on the Euro Cup final. And would you rather catch a foul ball or your own baby? See that and much more in Viralicious. Stay tuned. More Houston Sports Show after these messages.
Experience the pinnacle of performance at Ron Carter Cadillac. Drive the new 2021 XT6 Luxury Collection with standard third row seating for just $509 a month for 39 month lease with only $1 down. Or purchase and receive 1.9% APR for 60 months plus $1,500 bonus cash at Gulf Freeway just two minutes south of the Beltway. Test drive the new 2021 Escalade now at Ron Carter shop Cadillac. Smarter when you shop Ron Carter. At Smart Financial, we're about people, not profits. That's because we're locally operated by our member owners, and that makes all the difference. We are first time home buyers. We are car buyers. We are dreamers. We are family. We are you. We are Smart Financial. No matter who you are or what you do, Smart Financial is here for you. Now it's time for The Juice with Game Day OJ, a.k.a. Put Your Money Where Rachel's Mouth Is. Ah, the Euro Cup. Sorry, MLS, but this is the best soccer event in the world next to the World Cup, especially if you're a better. A lot of money's been coming in on this tournament, and now we're down to two teams. The Euro 2020 final is set. England versus Italy. Beer versus wine. Potatoes versus pasta. Protestants versus Catholics. And these are two teams that I relate to on a spiritual level. Why? Well, because they both win, but they do it outside of regulation. And what do you know? I also like to play outside of regulation, and I'm also a notorious procrastinator. And since I'm opening up and being honest here, these countries are known for being drunks. And when you know, I too have been known to throw a few back. My mother's ancestry is predominantly English. My father's is Italian. So when I was trying to figure out who to root for, you can see my dilemma here. But see, the fact that I was torn down the middle actually makes me, you know, the most unbiased, unofficial Euro Cup analyst you're ever going to see. Makes sense to me. <laughs> and now I'm serving up some fresh squeeze, super juicy, super well thought out Euro final analysis. Yeah, right. <laughs> Here's the juice. Okay, so I almost forgot. Another thing I have in common with these two teams, they're both underdogs. Kinda? Yeah? England's at plus 148 to win the cup, Italy's at plus 185, and a draw is at plus 188. So, anybody here up for a little arbitrage betting? No, 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 I'm just kidding. I told you guys I would never do that here. But seriously, I'm rocking with England here. Now, there's plenty of argument for Italy to win the game, too. It hasn't lost a match in three years, but England is the home team. There will be over 70,000 drunk, raging blokes who've been locked up much longer than we were during the corona apocalypse, and they are ready to rage, mate. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? America, what's wrong with me? Uh, look, point is, I can't imagine Italy overcoming that crowd. The second best bet I have for you is over one and a half goals scored. Italy's defense is really good, but England has been scoring late as of late. See what I did there? Again, this crowd is going to be insane. Too much adrenaline, maximum effort. I'm predicting a three or four goal game here. Hell, I might even move it up to over two and a half and make some real money. Elsewhere, the Yankees are in town, and let's be honest, the Yankees suck. Framber Valdez, who's 5-1 with a 2.86 ERA versus Jamison Dion, 4-4 four four with a 5.05 ERA. With the Astros bats being the way they are against that dude, yeah, I'm taking the Astros, no question. F1 money line, not thinking twice about it. Hell, go ahead and just take the Astros to win the whole game, period. If it's hot and happening, it's Viralicious. All right, guys, it is time to get into uh, Viralicious, some of the trending and uh, funny videos we have for you. Let's get started out with UFC heavyweight. Uh, this is Derek Lewis at an Astros game, throwing the first pitch down in the dirt. How do you not practice Ooh. this? Like, this is an ongoing thing of big, muscly men doing this. Do you remember when 50 <laughs> Cent did it? <laughs> How did, do you think you, what would you do if you were on the mound I would right practice before I did this to begin <laughs> with because I don't want to be a joke. Like, he's already put on some weight. Now he's like big, big dude. Like, no, man, y'all need to step your game up. Step your game up. If I get called to the mound, I'm throwing strikes. Oh, let's see it. Let's get Rachel out there at Minute Maid. Yeah, Astros, <laughs> get me out there. 
So check this out, Rachel. Would you want to either catch a foul ball or catch your own pride and joy baby? This guy kind of does it all in one take. <laughs> Man, give that guy MVP of the league something. I don't know. But if you're asking me, would I, re would I drop a baby for a foul ball? It depends on who hit the ball. Oh. Honestly, it depends on who hit the ball. What about the beer? What? Also, the beer. You have to save the beer. But I know, I know like social media is coming for this guy. No, that is father of the year. Better than anything I had. Father of the year? You drop your baby and then pick it back up? It. Poor thing. But did you die? Poor thing. But did you die? No, I guess she didn't. Exactly. I guess she didn't. It's a good time for all. <laughs> all right, Lauren, I got a really good one for you. This is going to take you back to junior high, elementary. I don't want to age you on TV, but <laughs> you might remember this song. Well, it's the remix. Oh, my word. Okay. I guess we're bringing everything up to speed nowadays, you know, ever since 2020, 2021, you know, girl, you look good once you back. <laughs> I feel so weird even saying it right now, but that used to be the jam back in the day. And that's the actual rapper, right? That is the rappers. They are slightly aged, maybe 15 years older and 15 pounds heavier, but either way, they got it done. And uh, the whole motivation for this isn't really to like save your life. It's to go on Tinder dates and swipe right. Like the whole, it's, uh, I love, I, I, I love 2021. All right, Lauren, we have another remix. Just special for you. Me? Play that track, DJ. What is it? Oh my goodness! <laughs> what was That's the us from the baseball game this week. That's me and my mom. <laughs> Did you ever think you were going to be in a rapper music video for Backs and Nothing Up? <laughs> no, I didn't. Total shock, guys. This is the first time that I'm seeing this. Yeah, we went out to the Astros game this week, and I guess, who was that sneaky people behind me? You I don't know. Jerome. I didn't even know they were doing it. Uh, it's Jerome. He's backing that thing up right now. <laughs> Good times at the Astros ballpark. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say that. That was fun. <laughs> Lauren, was there any spanking involved here? Oh! Oh, I forgot about that part! What was happening? <laughs> she's done, y'all, she's done! Cut the clip! Security! Viralicious, over! We aren't done yet! See you in a minute right here on Houston Sports Show. Hey, you enjoy Houston Sports Show on TV? Well, get a kick out of Houston Sports Show on the radio! Check us out every Sunday morning at ESPN 97.5. More Houston Sports Show after these messages. Confidence comes standard with a certified pre-owned Cadillac from Ron Carter Cadillac. Your only Houston area Cadillac to your door dealer. Get 2.9% APR for 72 months on Houston's largest certified pre-owned Cadillac inventory. With the assurance of a 172-point inspection, meticulous reconditioning by master Cadillac technicians, and a total 5-year limited warranty with unlimited miles. Shop smarter when you shop Ron Carter. Ron Carter Cadillac. When crisis hits Houston, we come together in spirit, in action. It's not the first time, but each time, the Houston Chronicle delivers coverage you can count on. From downtown to the Woodlands, to Baytown, to Katy, to Sugarland, we stand with you. Together, we are strong. We are Houston. All right, guys, well, that about wraps up tonight's show. Of course, we'll be back next Saturday night, as we always are, right here at CW39 Houston at 10 p.m. But you can also wake up with us on Saturday mornings. We are on the air 8 to 10 a.m. on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. 92.5, and it's not Saturday mornings, it's Sunday mornings. Sunday mornings, you can catch Lauren us. Lauren will be there Saturday, too, apparently. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, for Jerome Solomon, Rachel Von Adanye, I'm Lauren Leal. We will see you next week on Houston Sports Show. You're watching Houston Sports Show on CW39 Houston.
Experience the pinnacle of performance at Ron Carter Cadillac. Drive the new 2021 XT6 Luxury Collection with standard third row seating for just $509 a month for 39 month lease with only $1 down. Or purchase and receive 1.9% APR for 60 months plus $1,500 bonus cash at Gulf Freeway just two minutes south of the Beltway. Test drive the new 2021 Escalade now at Ron Carter shop Cadillac. Smarter when you shop Ron Carter. Ron Carter Cadillac. We are new beginnings. We are first time home buyers. We are family. We are smart financial. Whether buying a new home or refinancing, we offer easy shopping for the best loan programs and rates available and convenient online tools to help you make a smart choice. No matter who you are or what you do, Smart Financial has the right home loan for you. We are dreams come true. We are Smart Financial.